Shirley Cole, sorry, what was that about? Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Justin Trouser Snake. <laughs> Justin Timberlake, anybody else? Anybody else? Darwin. Sorry? Darwin. Darwin. Charles Darwin. Ooh, I like that. I like that. That's 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 good. Charles Darwin. And let's have an object that's got nothing to do with Charles Darwin or evolution. Candlestick. A what? Candlestick. Candlestick. <laughs> candlestick it is, I think. <laughs> so this is the story of Charles Darwin in the candlestick. Now listen, if they make a mistake, shall die. Get them off the stage. A little piece of them will crumble. All right? Permanently. All right? Chapter the first. It was late evening in Charles Darwin's study. By candlelight, the heads of all the crowns of Europe were in his notebook. He had drawn them down carefully. <laughs> Next to them was... A picture of a monkey. He looked at them and decided that one of them looked... Like the King of Spain. <laughs> one of them looked like... Like the King of Poland. And one of them looked like the Queen of Syria. <laughs> the Queen of Syria was a beautiful woman, but she did resemble several great monkeys. <laughs> Not just one monkey, she looked like four. Of the monkeys all combined, a big mass of monkeys coming towards him. He looked at his drawing and thought to himself, I need some clue what's going on. <laughs> Wait a minute, monkey man. Is there a connection between monkey and man? Monkey and man. <laughs> he ran downstairs. He had nothing on, but he charged. Out into the street anyway. People <laughs> saw his massive beard covering his gentle <laughs> So it was all right, really. It was like pixelated with beard. It was fine. Then he gathered a crew together, <coughs> put himself a ship and sailed towards Europe. He was flying now in his mind. He had an idea. And it was a great idea. He knew that if Monkey and man mated. <laughs> he could create a monkey. <laughs> evolution, he thought. That's what it is, there is no. God, there's only evolution. <laughs> evolution will be the new church. Church, you see? You see, the church of monkey. <laughs> and people will praise at the altar of the monkey who is half man. Half key. <laughs> everyone will know who. That I am. That I came from monkeyhood. I am a monkey. We are monkeys. <laughs> we are all monkeys. <laughs> Apes. Yes, chinchillas even. <laughs> now, chinchillas came. Along about two minutes later. <laughs> Let me wait for a bus. I not before, but it wasn't coming. Chinchillas were very popular in Europe. A lot of women had been buying them up to make. Handbag. <laughs> See the tails? Dressed around their throats like a scarf. Like some kind of statement. T to make. When they <laughs> happy. <laughs> he That was a bit of like a dramatic pause, okay? Yeah. So let's have a show. Let's, if you want him to stay, do this. If you want him to leave, do that, okay? Let's have a look. You're staying here. You're staying here. Let's, 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 we, need, we need somebody else to be in this story now. Somebody else to be in this story. Marty McFly. Marty McFly, the character from Back to the Future. Yes, good suggestion. And so Darwin had travelled into the deep jungles, looking for clues between the links between man and monkey. Yes, <laughs> and also chinchillas. He sat beneath a tree with his candlestick, waiting for a monkey to come out. So he could smack it over the head. <laughs> Suddenly there was a flash of light and a DeLorean beamed <laughs> into the dindalicked and hovered in the view. <laughs> beaming, beaming and hovering at the same time, it evolved into a beam. New word. Chapter two. As Marty McFly came out of the DeLorean, Charles Darwin's jaw dropped to the floor. It actually came off his face and fell into the ground. He looked, searching for his beard. His beard was tangled up in thistles and thorns, and he realised he was actually naked still, and now he was covering nothing up at all. Everyone could see him, except that nobody was there, except the strange looking monkey. His name was Marty McFly. This was no normal time traveller. This was 
Marty travel time. <laughs> Charles Darwin backed away. Very rapid. Please. He was afraid. He ran back, fell, cracked his head. Upon a stone. And started to bleed. This was a very bad bleed. <laughs> Suddenly from the trees, monkeys everywhere carrying... Weapons. <laughs> they beat Marty McFly around the head until he was unconscious. And Marty McFly lay... On the ground... He didn't know what year it was. Charles Darwin, <laughs> out of out of his bloodiness, came to and he stepped towards Mark. Go get off. Drum beat. We've got a little bit of drum beat. Let's have uh, finish this in a rap. I think is the best uh, idea. Okay, finish the final chapter of the rap. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 